Here we are in 1991 on a farm in Hampshire. I have a, a contract from the British government to apply our DNA test to milk. These two cows have Yoni's disease and their milk is full of the map bug. And this is what the positive tests look like in the milk from these two cows. But here are the healthy animals in the same herd. We tested their milk too, and 30% of them were positive for man. Every day, the truck comes to the farm and collects the milk. It takes it down to the pasteurization plant. And the only thing that stands between people and drinking these bugs, which can cause disease in so many animals, is heating the milk to 72 degrees centigrade for 15 seconds, a temperature which Matt can survive. And these were the signals that we saw in ordinary milk we bought off the shelves of supermarkets. In some of the supermarket cartons, we also cultured, showing that they were alive. And now this is a summary of the data uh, 10 years later. The methods of detecting map in milk have been improving, of course, over the past 15 years. Four countries have reported culture of map from their retail milk. UK, USA, Czech Republic, Argentina. In the United States, the methods were particularly good and <clears throat> the DNA detection rate in 702 cartons of milk was that 64% either contained MAP or had contained MAP. But since it is very difficult to grow, the, uh, and it was only cultured, for example, in the United States yeah. from 2.8, the true proportion of cartons with residual live map is probably much bigger than 3%. Let's go back to our three cows in the field. We know that milk from subclinically infected cows and diseased cows <coughs> containing map is reaching the human population. But diseased cows shed millions of map bugs onto pastures. Animals get infected like rabbits. The, uh -huh. the grazing cattle eat the droppings from the rabbits so that the chances that these normal cattle, normal looking cattle, are also infected with map is very high. The animals that, that live off the rabbits, like the foxes and the stoats, get infected. And other creatures like carrion, crows and hawks also carry the organism. MAP can survive for very long periods in the environment. When it rains, the water washes the MAP off into the rivers. Uh, this is a, a photograph of a MAP of the South Wales region in Britain. A lot of people live along the coastal plain. A lot of animals, cattle and sheep mainly, live on the hill pastures of the Breckens here. The animals drop mat bugs onto the pastures. And when it rains, usually from, on winds from the southwest, the water rushes down spate rivers into the sea. We used our DNA test and culture for tests for map from this river here, the Taff, which runs through the middle of the capital city of Cardiff. Throughout the year, sampling twice a week, one third of the water samples tested positive. We also cultured it, but we had to incubate the samples for nearly a year. We fingerprinted these cultures, and they were all of the bovine type. There were also sheep, but they would not grow and we could not type them. So we knew that map was running down the river through the city. 
We went back to uh, an epidemiological study published just in 1970. This showed a high incidence of Crohn's disease which appeared to cluster around the river. But the relationship between this high incidence of Crohn's disease in the river was, was not statistically significant. This was because of this gap on the southwestern side of the river. We constructed an exaggerated topographical relief map of the city, which showed hills here to the north and the south, behind which there would be eddies from the prevailing southwesterly winds. And this, this low incidence of Crohn's disease in the middle here exactly matched a long valley running down to the southwest and open to the prevailing winds. These discoveries were uh, the sort of thing that would happen if map bugs were aerosoling off the river and being carried on the wind to the human populations in the city. And Crohn's disease, particularly in children, often begins with a chronic cough. And at least a quarter of people with adults with Crohn's disease can be shown to have microscopic inflammation of their lungs. We had taken core samples from these reservoirs here. Yeah. These and um, Actually, maybe I'll leave this bit out, it's too complicated. And the map bug went back about 50 years. The River Taff, which runs through the capital city of Cardiff, is not used to obtain water for people to drink. But this, this river here, close by, there's a big abstraction site here. The water is carried yeah. in a 26 kilometer pipeline to the water treatment plant here. This is this beautiful river and this is the abstraction site for water. Up to 270 million liters of water a day. We sampled for nearly a year from this bridge here. This time two-thirds, 65 percent of the water samples twice weekly tested positive for MAP. This equated, or this was due, to a much larger number of animals in the catchment of the river. The abstraction site is rather ugly. We tested the walls of it here. We tested the biofilms sticking to these gratings. They were all positive for MAP. When the, <coughs> when the river is running high, the water is cloudy and looks like this with a fiber optic light. The map bugs tend to click, tend to bind to the little particles of suspended some up. This, uh, the suspended material in the water is removed in this inside the water treatment plant. And the material is removed automatically. This material is collected in slurry pits.